Hey guys, it's Mark here from Signature Camper Trailers. Behind me is our Signature Iridium 15. It's a hybrid camper trailer. Um, and today we're gonna take you for a walk through it and show you everything that's included in this awesome little um, camper trailer. So come with me as we go for a walk. I'm really excited to show you around our um, Iridium 15. It's our newest camper in the lineup. Um, it is by far the fastest growing camper trailer segment in Australia. Um, uh, this model has been extremely well received and, and I just really wanna show you um, show you around it. So let's go to the front and I'll show you what's included as part of this, um, this awesome camper trailer setup. Starting at the front, um, we run the McHitch, um, the McHitch off-road hitch. It's a full 360 degree off-road hitch. Um, we give you the connection that goes onto the car, the receiver end, um, but they're a really clever piece of equipment. They're, um, they were designed in Lithgow. They've won a stack of awards, as I've mentioned on other videos, um, and we just keep using them because they're a brilliant piece of um, technology. It's a three and a half ton rated hitch. Um, out the front, we've got seven plug, um, a seven pin plug, which runs through to your electric brakes. Um, and we've also got an Anderson plug on the front here, which runs through to the battery, so you can charge your, um, charge your batteries from your car. Um, you've got a breakaway system um, hooked up to the front here as well. Uh, obviously handbrake. We use an Alco jockey wheel, um, a good quality jockey wheel. Um, they're hard wearing and they're um, perfectly suited for this kind of, kind of camper. Um, really easy use and it just folds up out of the way when you're not using it. Um, and a couple of real good heavy duty safety chains um, as part of the setup up here. Uh, forward on the front of the camper, you've got two um, jerry can holders, so two 20 litre jerry can holders and two nine kilo gas bottle holders. Both of them are plumbed in, um, all certified in Australia. Um, and uh, obviously you've got your regulator and whatnot built in there, so that runs through to the camper, through to the kitchen area, um, to your hot water system and so on. Uh, in here is your uh, control box for your batteries, uh, all resettable breaker switches and fuses and whatnot. Um, to turn on a couple of different lights um, and your is main isolators and, and whatnot in there as well. Uh, positioning in there is you, you've got your two batteries. So you've got two 100 amp hour batteries. So that's 200 amp hours of all up of battery power, um, uh, which is stacked in a camper trailer um, of this size. Uh, it'd be very, very rare that you'd actually run out of that battery power, especially if you're using different technologies like solar panels and the like to keep things charged up. You've also got a 2000 watt inverter. Um, and a 30 amp battery charger. So the 30 amp battery charger runs off the 240 volt system that's, um, that's built into this camper trailer. If you come around the, the back side, uh, you've also got a couple of uh, twin um, toolboxes up the front, um, all carpeted um, with automotive seals all the way around it. So you've got one there and one on the other side. Up here, um, you've got a tool section compartment that runs all the way through to the other side. So massively big long section, perfect for longer things, poles, uh, fishing rods, um, anything else that's a bit longer that you want to store. And a big oversized tool, tool compartment here. So you've got a spot for a uh, generator or anything else on a, um, on a metal slide out drawer. And you've got two other deep drawers up the top here. So heaps of storage spots outside for, um, for your different bits and pieces. Um, you've then got your toilet canister. So in here is a toilet canister for your, um, your Tetford toilet. Um, same as all caravan systems. Um, uh, canister just rolls out there, so you can obviously um, get rid of your um, get rid of your waste. Um, underneath there, we've got a 40 litre grey water tank, um, which is uh, positioned underneath there. It's easy to connect up with hoses and whatnot, and that way it sort of just runs straight out, easily easy to access. Your 15 amp site connection, so that's your input for your 240 power. Uh, you got a uh, aerial point for an aerial connection straight in underneath there. Got a light. Um, the reason we've got a light out here is because you've got a hot and cold outdoor shower. So open that door up there, and shower hose comes out there with obviously your taps and whatnot in there. Um, at this point here, you've got your filler for your uh, main water tank for your fresh water. So you've got one filler point, which spreads into two tanks. So you've got two 100 litre, two 100 litre tanks, which is 200 litres of fresh water all up the camper can hold. Um, and that's your output for your hot water system. Um, so I'll explain the hot water system a bit more when we get inside. If you come around here, it's a fold-out system. Um, you've got your two spare wheels um, just on, uh, on fold-down system with, um, uh, with your gas struts. And then around the front of the camper is where uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the living goes on. So you've got your slide-out kitchen, 
uh, slide out kitchen here with your four burner AGA um, gas cooktop. Um, you've also got nice deep sink, all stainless steel setup, dish rack, uh, lights everywhere. So you've got lights there, lights there, and you've got your readings for your tank. So you've got a reading both for your grey water tank as well as your fresh water tank. Everything's quick connection, quick release. So you've got your air hose fittings for all of your water and bay net fittings for, um, for your gas uh, and a couple of drawers. So you've got your cutlery drawer there, extra drawer there for bits and pieces. You've also got your slide out table here, slides out a little bit further than that. Um, so you can use that for extra preparation area, extra storage, um, and your, um, obviously your wind deflectors there for your cooker. You've got a pantry system here. Open that up and you've got yeah, stacks of room for different little bits and pieces um, for all your essentials. Uh, they are quite deep, so you can sort of put things all the way through. And you've got stacks of storage, uh, stacks of storage in there. Um, you've got fold down, uh, fold down uh, table bench area, um, which obviously comes in very handy for making coffee on, putting your beers on and whatnot, um, and that's all, yeah, all positioned in there. And uh, big oversized fridge area. So you can fit a, a 95 litre dual zone. Um, yeah, there's not many fridges that won't fit in here. It's quite high, nice and deep, nice and wide. Um, and uh, obviously it slides in no issues at all. And in here you've got the connection of an Anderson plug connector or a cigarette plug connector for your fridge. So you've got the choice of, um, of how you actually wanna uh, run your fridge, as well as some 240 volt um, uh, outlets as well in there. Uh, the camp is built tough. It's got off-road suspension in it. Um, it's got uh, protection rails all the way around it. Um, it's a true off-road camper in terms of that means it's got a thicker chassis, um, it's got a thicker draw bar, um, and everything is designed up nice high and out of the way. Um, so yeah, it's designed to designed to, to, to basically go exploring wherever you want to go exploring to. Um, so yeah, that's the outside of the camper. Obviously electric awning as well, which I didn't mention. So full electric awning, press a button and the whole thing slides out, uh, and then you just prop your legs out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a quick run through of the outside of the camper. There's stacks more I haven't mentioned, but um, we'll duck inside and I'll show you what's inside this camper now. Guys, um, I'm gonna take you through a walk through the inside of our uh, Iridium 15 um, and show you what's on the inside. Um, starting at the door, you've got fly screen, separate fly screen section for your door. So you can actually close that off. Um, leaves that nice cool breeze rolling through it. Um, we'll open that up and, um, and you can come in and have a look. Um, come in and have a look on the uh, the inside of our Iridium 15. So come with me. So first of all, leading up here, you've got a sink, running hot and cold water sink. So the hot water system that we use, I should have mentioned previously, is um, it's a Truma gas electric hot water system, ultra rapid um, uh, quick heating system. Um, basically when you plug into 240 power, the hot water system will work off the 240. As soon as you're off the grid, you can run it straight off your gas on the front, being run through the regulators that uses next to no, um, next to no gas and keeps your hot water uh, running. And you're getting hot water to um, the sink in here, you've got your sink in the kitchen area, uh, and your shower, which is just behind me. So in here, you've got Got, um, yeah, got a separate indoor sink area, which obviously folds down. A uh, couple of big deep cupboards that run all the way through along here. Um, if I move that out of the way, then you can have a look in here. Lights everywhere, um, but nice, nice big long um, cupboard up in there. You've got a uh, separate light there as well. All of the, um, uh, up the top, you've got lights all the way through. These are actually dimmable lights. So if you hold it down, you'll see it actually, um, it'll dim. Uh, hold it back up and it'll, it'll uh, lighten completely back up. Um, in this particular model, we've got a Dometic air conditioning system. So this is an optional upgrade that we've got on uh, all of our uh, hybrid camber trailers. Um, the Dometic system, uh, we can install that for you on our S class um, models. Uh, includes a Dometic air conditioning system and 300 watts of solar panel built under the roof. Uh, in here is our shower area. So I open that up. And you can see a uh, shower, um, hot and gold running shower. Um, it's a massive shower. Um, you've got heaps of room in here. Um, and you've also got a toilet there. Um, you've got a roll down um, screen up the top here. Um, a shower screen, so you can stop any water from coming out, obviously. Um, so that's your toilet and your shower area. Uh, you've then got more storage space in here. So you've actually got hanging storage space. Um, so spot for uh, hanging there um, and a stack of uh, stack of shelves there for all of your clothes. Coming down the front here, um, massive big bed, so huge big bed. Um, it's not quite a, it's bigger than a queen, not quite a king, um, but yeah, it's absolutely huge. Got another um, cupboard down here with heaps more drawer uh, storage uh, cupboards in there. And up here you've got TV built in. 
Uh, you've got 240 vet power points, you've got a couple of uh, USB charging sockets and 12 volt charging sockets, and that's your controller for your um, Truma Ultra Rapid Hot Water System, which is just sitting there, so easily accessible. You've got windows all the way around, so you've got the lower level windows um, that have both block out screens as well as fly screens, um, and they fold open. So you've got window there, window at the back, and you have uh, two side windows there. Um, got a pocket for uh, books, um, charging cables, anything else that you want to throw into there. You got reading lamps up there. Uh, so reading lamps either side of the bed as well as you got more reading lamps down the end of the bed, um, which you can see down there. Over here, uh, you've got a lockable storage compartment. Um, so you can see through there. Uh, you can throw your valuables in there, close that up, and that's all lockable as well. So um, you can lock everything up in there. Um, down here you've got more charging points, so more USB and 12 volt charging points. You've got a little bit of storage underneath here, um, which goes under there, but that also goes to the kitchen area. So you've got, yeah, stacks more storage in there. And then you've got your dinette, um, dinette uh, area. So um, this converts into a bunk bed setup. So this table actually drops down and you can put another cushion in there and that converts into um, one, uh, one bed area. And then you've got your second bunk bed up here. So that simply just folds down, put the mattress into position, uh, and your arm folds up, and, um, and you've got a, a, a kid's bunk bed up there as well. Uh, in terms of actually packing it up, and we just fold that down, get the mattress out of the way, and lift it straight up, and it's out of the way, which uh, opens the whole camper up. Um, down on the floor, you've got a hard-wearing uh, wood floor. Um, everything's designed to be hard wearing in this. You've got more storage spots underneath these. Um, so these are hollowed out, so you've got stacks more storage underneath them. Um, and your windows all the way around it will um, roll open, so you've got heaps of airflow all the way through with midi proof uh, screening. Um, that way, yeah, you've got stacks of airflow, you're not going to overheat in here. So even if you don't have the air conditioning system in here, um, you've got no issues whatsoever in terms of heating and, um, and build up in here. Um, but yeah, stacks of room. Uh, one of the emphasis on the designs of this camper was making it feel open and free, and um, and you know, not feeling um, claustrophobic or, clam um, or cramped. Uh, we think we've achieved that. We're really proud of um, uh, what our whole thing's come up with in this. Um, just the living space in such a small camper. Um, uh, so yeah, make sure you come and check it out. Um, we absolutely love this camper. We know you will. Um, it's the Tiggy Iridium 15. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, give us a call or email. Thanks, Ross.